Kawasaki GPZ 500 S for sale on eBay. In the paperwork it comes with its V5 registration document. So 2001, no former keepers, so that makes it a one owner. It has its MOT history request. There's no MOT on the bike at the moment. In fact, it was last MOT'd in 2011, which expired 2012, October. It's got its owner's manual. It's got its service history there, which is not complete. In fact, the book was last stamped in 2003, and the last time we got any documented work was done in 2010. In 2010, it had some um, top end of the engine work done. It had um, some valves and piston clips and that kind of stuff done at the top end. There's that. Uh, there's an HPI check certificate. That shows the bike is all completely clear, nothing there to be concerned about. There's a few other little bits of paper as well, which are kind of irrelevant stuff, really. So, just looking around the bike, a few little things to point out. Um, there is a crack in the fairing that's been sort of repaired up there by the mirror on the right hand side. There's a marker on the left hand side there that kind of looks like it's been touched up with some blue paint or something. Can't really see because not because it's sort of tucked underneath there. So there's that. There's a scuff on the right hand side of the exhaust there. Uh, the engine itself sounds like it needs a bit of adjustment. You can hear in the video there where I'm riding the bike that it um, it actually sounds a bit like the valve clearance is one doing. The last owner was going to take it back and have it done after he'd had the um, the engine work done, but he stopped using the bike before he went back to having it done. So. I would think you probably want the valve clearances done. If I'm wrong about that, well then you might want the timing chain done, but I wouldn't think there's anything more than that. He's been using it like that for some time. Um, so there's that. Um, this um, top box case, has uh, that's a combination lock, and I don't know what the, the, um, the number is for that lock. You might be able to get it from the original owner, he's still contactable, but at the moment it's, it's unlocked, so you don't need to sort of worry too much. But might be an idea to find out what that code actually is on there. It, it may be that the number it's left on is the unlocking code anyway, I'm just not sure. But anyway, you need to look into that so you know what you're doing with it. Oh, that's just a closer up uh, view of that crack and that fairing there on the right hand side by the mirror. Looks like he's used kind of rubber solution or something to stick it, but anyway, I'm sure you can make that look neater if you wanted to. Uh, the rear tyre looks like it's just about had it, I would think, an MOT inspector. you got a nice one, he might pass it, and if you got somebody who didn't like the look of it, he'd probably fail it. So there's, that's a borderline sort of case now. And that's it. If you've got any questions, give us a call.